Today we're going to learn how to make a mold in Blender by using Boolean modifiers. So first I went ahead and imported my mesh of Einstein's head here that I got off of Thingiverse. Then I'm going to import a cube. I'm going to turn on my x-ray view up here so that I can see better. Then I'm going to make the cube longer and wider than my object. And then I'm going to go to my modifiers tab, add a boolean modifier, and then in my scene collection up here I'm going to select Einstein's head because Einstein's head is what I want to cut out of this cube. This takes a minute. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And then I can go ahead and delete Einstein's head, and now I don't know if you can tell, but you can see that it's been cut into the cube. But you'll be able to tell here in a minute. I'm going to go to my side view, add another cube, make it pretty thin, because we don't want to interfere with the mold too much. Then I'm going to make it longer than my cube, and wider than my cube. as well as making it very thin. Then I'm going to select my cube again, add another boolean modifier, go back up to my collection scene up here and select my slice that I created by using the, cu the cube, and then I can apply that modifier. Once it's applied you can delete that slice that you created Go to your side view, select your cube, go into edit mode, choose face select, come in here and select half of your object, then you want to go to mesh, separate, separate the selection. You want to make sure you're still in x-ray view while you're doing this or else you're only going to select these front faces along this axis. So since I'm in x-ray view I could select the whole side. Go back into object mode by hitting tab. Now if I select this one and I move it out of the way, turn off my x-ray view, <clears throat> you can see we have our mold created. Next what we want to do is add our keys. I like to use spheres but you can use cubes. I'm going to shrink down my sphere a bit, bring it down close to the bottom. Then I'm going to turn my x-ray view back on, move it along the x to put it in the corner. Then I'm going to duplicate it, hit my G key and my Z key to move it up into the other corner. And then I want to select my other sphere as well in my scene collection and then hit shift D again to duplicate those, move them to the other side. You could mirror these as well if you want to. And then I want to select all of my spheres, go to my side view and make sure that they are interacting with both ends of my mold, which they are. And then I want to hit control J to join them all together as one mesh. So now instead of having four separate sphere meshes, I just have one. Then I'm going to select one half of my mold, go back over to my wrench and my modifiers tab, add another boolean modifier. We're going to choose union this time. Back in our scene collection we're going to choose the sphere or spheres. This is going to join this half of the mold together with the spheres. Then you can apply it. Once that's applied, you want to select the other half of your mold, add another boolean modifier. This one's going to stay as a difference. Back in your scene collection, you want to choose sphere again, apply it. After that's applied, you can delete your sphere mesh. Now you can see if you turn off your x-ray view, we have our keys created that's going to help lock the mold together. Now all we have left is to add our spout, which I like to use a cone for. 
but again you can use whatever you prefer really move it to the outside make it a bit smaller maybe a bit longer go to my x-ray view to make sure that it's poking through my mesh at least a little bit poking through into the cavity of the mold move it back just a little bit then I want to select the half of the mold that's interacting with it add another boolean modifier of a difference you can select your cone here or you can select cone up in your scene collection but because it's poking out and easy to get to I'm just going to select it right here then once you can see that that's been applied by the little highlighted blue outline you can apply it and go ahead and delete your cone exit out of your x-ray view now you have your spout that you're going to pour your mold material into and then you've got both halves of your mold created at this point you should be able to print it and use it as a mold